So behind us is a very famous little homestead. Now, it's actually from a movie called We of the Never Never. Now we've traveled about four or five hours south from where we were before, and we're gonna head out onto another station. We're gonna meet up with a couple of local boys, and we're gonna head out, mate, into some really remote country. And it's the actual country where this this homestead was filmed, the movie from this homestead was filmed, and where the original homestead or the original station was, and that's where they got the story from to write the book and the movie. I'm glad you know about it, mate, because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> and they filmed that movie in 1950 around here and also in Pine Creek. Old school. It's very cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Though. So they recreated it. This is what it looked like in the movie. It was based on a lady by the name of, uh, I think, Jeannie Gunn, basically the wife of a pastoralist, and they basically settled in this country. And, and back in those days, harsh as hell, like I mean hardcore, like you wouldn't believe. We think it's hardcore now, but nah, it was hardcore back then. Pretty uh, interesting little homestead going on here, mate. Ant Mounds Galore. Yeah, it's very interesting. I did say, like, you'll, you'll know you come across the homestead um, because it's just like ant mounds everywhere, and I think we found it. I reckon that's a dead giveaway. Like, wow. We got to hook up with uh, a guy by the name of, get this, his name's Ozzy. <laughs> you get more Aussie than this. I know, mate, I know. So anyway, we hook up with Ozzy. He said he's gonna meet us here at the homestead. Um, and yeah, he's a he's a ranger. Yeah, there he is. There's old Ozzy. I reckon that'll be him right there. That'll be him. Hey, you must be Ozzy. Yeah, I'm There you go, I'm Jace. Ozzy, how are you, bud? Pleased to meet you. So, um, Frowny, you're, you're the ra you're like a head ranger? Yep. Yeah, that's the go. I'm the Mangarai ranger, and all I do is just, sometimes we just do some patrol around here. Yeah. And just look after their land. Yeah, awesome. And just make sure there's no safari mob anyway around you. Poachers. Uh, you're poaching. Yeah, gotcha. You. Well, people like us coming in and going fishing, running the mark. <laughs> I think it's good, I think. <laughs> I think you're really good. Oh, I loved you, man. Coming out here. So you were a little bit hopeful you were going to give us the inside goss on the good fishing spots. Yep. You were, you were talking about some place where where it's like a little channels. Yep. And 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 in the wet they flood and then the fish get in the channels and then as it dries out they're stuck. Once that cut off, it'll get dry off and then you'll have all that barra in the middle of it. In the middle yeah, of the how big? Like little barra? Probably big barra. Big. 90 centimetres. 90? <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> we should yeah, go and check it, it out. Yeah, I reckon. Can check it out. Yeah, jump in with us, mate. So the country we're going to today is T.O. land, well, traditional owner. And we've hooked up with Aussie, and he's going to take us out into this country, which doesn't get a lot of traffic from the tourists, which is pretty cool, because we're going to go deep into this country that we don't... I've never been there before. Always wanted to go there. So... I'm looking forward to seeing what we can find out there. Now this river crossing here, you can imagine in the wet season, it would be absolutely cracking. But today, it's pretty calm. A little bit, a little bit bumpy. Is this natural crossing? Yep, it's crossing for everyone to come across. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I was expecting probably a bit of sand. That was good. Ozzy was saying that um, he reckons uh, our first camp is uh, Little, I think he called it Little Red Lily Lagoon. It sounds very pretty. Try saying that really fast. Little Red Lily Lagoon. Little Red Lily Lagoon. Little Red Lily Lagoon. Hopefully the lagoon hasn't got a little red lily lagoons not full of mosquito lagoon. 
Uh, he, he, he did like a little nod with his head. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then he chuckled. <laughs> well, that's right, he's camping with us, so he's going to get smashed as well then. <laughs> he's still laughing. <laughs> You reckon you get many pigs around here? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Wow. A bit of crossing here, is there? Oh, All right. Oh yeah. It's dry as. So in the wet season, this would just be inundated with water. So Aussie reckons he reckons in the wet season, they just come down here and just go hard. Yeah, okay. Just flat out from down there. Yeah. Save the gas. Keep going. No stop. So Ozzy's got a few tricks up his sleeve, and one of those is bush tucker. Black, blackberries? That's a tree over here, those trees, no leaves. They look like a grapes. Yeah? Yeah, and they taste like grapes. But we call him Jupy. Jupy. Yep. Oh, oh this one yeah. right here. You gotta wait until next year. Yeah? This time. From March or April somewhere. Almost like grapes. Jupy. Yeah. Grapes on a tree? Yep. How much further uh, does Aussie reckon before we get to the lagoon? At least 10 or 15 k's out from here. He reckons about 10, 15 k's from here. That's what the bed. Oh, we'll be there before the sun goes down. Mm. Excellent. There she blows. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This is our little campsite up here, apparently, up on the flat. How specky is that? Have a go at it. It's just like out of nowhere, isn't it? All right, we'll set up camp here, eh? You pull up and I'll spin around on your um, passenger side. I don't have to play with it. Is it? <laughs> 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 There's heaps of firewood. Look at it, it's everywhere. There we go, that's a good spot. There you go, mate. We should walk down to that lagoon and have a quick look, eh? Oh, look at that, eh? That's out of control. Red lilies on steroids. Truckloads of them. Wow. It's a big lagoon, too. We should set up camp before the sun goes down. Yep, let's do it. Where are we heading today, mate? We're just going down to um, Pocket, about 15 k's out from up here. Up this way? Yep, up this way. Yeah, gotcha. About 15 k's out from here. Yeah. So we're just going to wait until my cousin Lee will yeah. come in a moment, probably. Okay. Is, he, is he another ranger? Yep, he's another ranger. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yep. He's bringing the buggy in, isn't he's he? He's bringing in the buggy, and I'll be jumping in the buggy, and we'll be driving up in the front. Awesome. You guys can just follow. Oh yeah, cool. Are we like? Are we going to need? Are we going in buggy country? Like <laughs> we got some big four wheel drives. I think we'll be driving in through a big water, but I think we're just going to have a look at the water. Yeah. We're going across the water. I think probably it must be deep or don't know. You know, we're just going to have it a out. look, check it out, and if we don't get across, we'll probably turn around and find somewhere else. Yeah, gotcha. Find another track there. You can hear noise. There we go, looks like someone now. Yep, I think that's Lee. That's Lee? Yeah, that's me cousin. Here he comes. We've got the red buggy. Yep. How are you, buddy? Hey, mate. I'm Jace. Lee. Simon. Lee. 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 How'd you trip in? A bit chilly, mate. A bit cool this morning. A little bit chilly. What do you reckon? That's cool. Go for yeah, the road. Yeah, the road. Yeah. That's it, ready to go. I'll follow you? Yep, follow me, mate. Well, another day begins. Follow that little red buggy. Yes, that's the one. So far, spectacular country. That lagoon blew me away yesterday. 
Yeah, very specky, mate. If that's what we've got to look forward to, yeehaw. Yeah, but remember around the fire this morning, he did say big water. We like big water, it's fun. Oh, well, we've got two ranger boys in front now. Good. What's that up ahead there? Yeah, it's pretty big. Looks like we've got a bit of a crossing coming up, so. Can't see any water from back here, but it looks a bit sandy or something. It looks weird. Yeah, some water. There's water in the bottom. No, it's not too bad. Looks pretty compact over there. That's what happens when you uh, get bogged, eh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Gone forever. <laughs> There's a whole car under there, not just a roof. <laughs> what do you think? What the trailer will fit in there? Yeah, yeah, we'll get the trailer down there. Duka duka duka. Easy. Boom, charge it. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Turns out that following the red buggy is not as easy as it sounds for Jace and his wide truck. Going down before sundown brown. So when I'm following that little red buggy, you know, that thing's quite narrow. I think they forget that I've got this big F truck with a massive trailer on the back. Ha! Uh, looks pretty good from back here. You should have seen the end of your trailer from under the back. That looked amazing. Yeah, you can see the whole underside of it. Oh, the back wheels came off the ground. Going down! Whose car is this? It's one of my cousin's car, and I think one of them wheel bearings did broke off on it, and he couldn't fix it. So he didn't come back for it, and probably been here for four years now. You got a special name for this place? No, I just Barrow. call it Barrow, Barrow Money Crossing. Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. Every flood zone, when we have a flood yeah. in here, that's where all the barrier gets stuck up in this channel. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, pick up it. Hand pick them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Mm. Hand picking barramundi. No, none left. None left. No, yeah. we've gone too late now. But we're we're going to keep going to where the barramundi are thicker, eh? Yep. yep. <laughs> we don't call that barramundi crossing. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's to put everyone off the scent. Yeah. Yep. That's a weird riverbed. That. Seen anything? material like that before. We must be getting close someone. Do you think? Yeah, we changed out of that ridge country now onto the looks like plains. Looks a bit more greener too, we must be getting close to the river. Creek crossing. Make sure you go left, mate. There's a big log at the bottom. Go left. Yeah, go left. And at this point right now, it dawned on me that it's going to be really hard for me to try and follow them in their nimble little buggy. All I can say is lucky it's dry, otherwise we'd never be getting through this country. Definitely not. Once they get to the river, they'll have to find a way to get across. Aussie and Lee reckon they know just the spot. Far off big water now. We're getting close. Big water is a natural crossing their family has been using for a long time. Where's this crossing, mate? <laughs> Down here. <laughs> really? Yep. Oh, this, uh, it doesn't get used much by the looks. No. For that 13, 14 years, no one ever went across for you. I wonder why. Have a go at it. Probably deep now, inside there, in the middle of it. So you crossed here? Yep. That was, what, 20, 20 years back. What? 
You wouldn't even take your buggy through there. It's way too deep. Yep. Oh, this stuff just crumbles too. You get bogged. Yeah, they're all mud. Okay, what are we getting ourselves into here? All you gotta do after a drive back round, around on that side. Up and round come back here. Around. Yep. Maybe we should have a look. Have a quick scout mission. Go for a walk. Go for a walk, see if there's a crossing somewhere we can scoot around. Rivers can change a lot in 20 years. So the boys set off to explore a different option. Down through this way by the looks of it. Through there along this bank. Oh, man down. Don't slip there. <laughs> man down. And there. Yep. Wow, straight down there. It's hard as a rock. What about that bit there? That'll be a little bit boggy, but all you gotta do once you get a four wheel drive in there, you just jump straight through. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be a pretty extreme track if we try it out. We'll be full on, we'll be here all day. It's got some flow. And with that trailer in the back of it, it'll probably get stuck. You push it on the side of the van. I think that being a little bit heavy, it'll it's yeah. not going to push him over. All you're going to do is just line up with that log. Look, see that log? Yeah. Just watch that hole when you come down. And there's some serious bush bashing to do before we even get to the hole. Pop down. All right, we're in. Ozzy and Lee are leading the way through tricky terrain in their nimble buggy. A little bit angly. Jace and Simon are having to work hard just to keep up with them. Just got that. Van just fitted between that tree. Look at these pair of smart asses over here in their little red buggy. <laughs> Sitting down here already. Come on, boys, hurry up! <laughs> in the shade, too. Yeah, sit in the shade over there, <laughs> laughing around. I think his four wheel drive will make it through there. Just follow our track and come down here, and they'll be here. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sneak down there. Down here? Yeah, I'm going to sneak. Because I, I can tuck. I can, get yeah. a, I can get a straight run down there. So, where are you thinking, like here? Yeah. You try and picture in your head how you're going to get across without getting too bogged or too messed up or break something so that it just becomes a complete disaster. Because remember, you want to keep going. You don't want to just at all ending here. So I've got to get this corner as tight as I can. Your trailer with the dual wheels, even if it did slide in there, it's still not going to roll. It'll drag. Yeah, what if we shovel? Give me, you got your shovel? Give me a shovel for a second. I'm just going to pop that corner off so I can get more angle. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in there. Pretty soft. Like butter, mate. Good there's only one, eh, Stewie? I didn't put mine on. Here we go, a bit more there, Simon. Like, trim that, like, really sharp. <laughs> Turn that way a bit. Start doing the drop. Alright, this is it. Now turn that door out, start away. Turn up. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Jesus. He's putting his seatbelt on? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't let me. Yeah, your seatbelt won't come out of the hole. He won't let me now. <laughs> He's peeking. I've been in and out of the car and I forgot to put my seatbelt on and the, the truck's on a slight angle and I can't go backwards, can't go forwards and the seatbelt just doesn't want to go, I can't get the seatbelt out, it's a safety feature and I'm sort of thinking, I was putting my seatbelt on because I thought if I, if I don't want to roll this truck, now I've got no seatbelt and I'm going over the edge. Hard, hard, hard. They're gonna come your way. I feel right, but anyway. Watch that trailer, she's going in. Yeah, you're good. Front wheel's taking the weight of the trailer. You're going. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, all no, good? You're, yeah, you're out of danger, mate. You're all good. Yeah? Yeah. You got gotta, gotta. That's him. You're right. You got the highest forward. Lucky you got good grand clearance. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I had to do it without my seatbelt on because the bloody wouldn't let me put it on. I'm going to take a different line. In true Simon style, he picks a different line. All right, just hold him there. Oh, you're going over the edge now. Straighten your wheels up as you come down. Admittedly, his truck's a lot different. What he's towing is different. He wants to position himself where he has got better control over it. I'll dial up my van brakes. We'll come down nice and steady. Yeah, all good, all good. All good, all straight. All good. Man, I'll tell you what, that caravan is on some weird angles. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. I'm going my caravan brakes right up there and I use the wheels to take the edge off the bank and now back them off again. Yeah, hey. you're down, mate. Yeah. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> that was quite easy, actually. That was good. Aussie's impressed too. I think you've done really well. Thanks, mate. <laughs> A little bit of encouragement has never hurt anyone. Now, on to the next obstacle. Oh, she's going in hot. Go, boys, go. They do this for a living. It's all hard. Yeah, it looks hard. Hard bottom. Once you get there, that all, all rock. Yeah, it's all solid rock. Oh, well, let's do it. Here we go, going in. Here we go, we're on the bottom. And I drop in. And hopefully you don't get hung up on that trailer. The trailer may not even enter the no, water. Not even like up to the top of your tires even. Nothing. And then I hit the gas. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> you had that then. You had that then. I probably could have had it if I'd have hit the gas a bit harder. Reverse back. And this time I decide I'll put the foot down. I'll get those uh, uh, 1,430 newton metres of torque that this thing's got, and I'm going to use all of them. Hit that gas pedal, mate. Four wheel drive, diff lock at the back. Boom. <laughs> I'm out. Feel good. Woo. And I'll tell you what, there's no substitute for raw V8 turbocharged power. Good job. I'm out. Told you, get it? I didn't even need the You winch. should try to stand in front of those exhausts when you're on the gas and you go past. Well, what happened? You'll really get blown off your feet. That? Oh, I'm telling you. Did you do your hair while you just like a hair You can blow dry your hair in that. <laughs> How you like that, boys? Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Here's your radio. I've got to go and get my car. <laughs> Come on, caravan man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See if we can get Maxi in the van through that bloody water. Okay. Simon goes in, tight turn. He's got all the tight turns, no problem. He's in the nimble D-Max. Drops into the water. Nice and steady. Oh. Steady as she goes. We'll drop the van off the edge. He was gassing. He was gunning it. Caravan on the back, bouncing around. Go, baby, go. You're going to make that. Oh. He was so close. Anyway, that's what we got winches for. Good. And a quick little winch off the back of my trailer. Coming out now. And we're nearly out. Nearly. There we go. We're out. You're out. We're out. Simon might have to get the mop out later. And they're off again. It's tough going trying to keep up with this little red buggy. I'm literally putting the, my faith in the old mate, old Aussie, who's out in front going, yeah, yeah, she'll be right. <laughs> and laughing. <laughs> and it's all right for him, because they're just driving around in a little buggy and having a good old time. I got all this gear behind. We got all this gear behind. Someone's got a bloody caravan on the back of the D-Max, for God's sakes. Yeah. You beauty. 
we made it? What do you know? Made it too. Must be coming up to that campsite shortly, eh? Yeah, fair area. Here we are. Yeah, there's the water. That looks good. Beautiful. It's the billabong. It's the race to the billabong. This is like a good place to camp, Simon. But setting up camp comes second to fishing every time. So let's launch the boat. They launched. <laughs> That's how we launch our boat. I don't think it's quite meant to go like that, but I tell you what, we'll take it. <laughs> I'll have to fix that at some stage. Oh well. Pretty cool creek, billabong or system, whatever you want to call it. Middle of nowhere, that's for sure. And it's not long before the friendly banter starts. The buggy man's casting over my line. Come on, caravan man, I might get one there somewhere. Probably a catfish. The right time of the year, this place would be teeming, wouldn't it? Yep. Uh -huh. Barra Central, I reckon. Yep. I think they're a little bit too afraid to get out because you got the freshwater crocodile in there. Probably 50 or 60 of them in here. Sounds like a whole lot of crocs. Well, no fish for caravan man. Not even a catfish today. The winning catch goes to Buggy Man with a... What do you got? A toga. Baby toga of all time. Little baby toga from hell. Time to set up camp. Ozzy and Lee couldn't hang around. They had to get back to work. Now, left to their own devices, the boys decide to give the barra one more crack. There is one more spot that we want to try and fish before we get out of here and hopefully we can catch a barra. It's uh, going to be all well worth it. So, um, Simon, you're on channel there, mate. Gotcha, mate. I'm going to have a crack at running across this first and then um, see what we have to clear or whatever. There's a couple of trees up the top there. We should be able to winch them out. I'll go over in preparation for the winching. We'll definitely be winching up that bank. Definitely. I've got my coffee. I'll get my chainsaw. Oh. Don't forget my little speaking voice. I'm talk to old mate in his car when his windows are up with the aircon on. Too bad. All right, coming through. That's deep there. That's a deep hole there, mate. I was gonna say, do you think you came through there quick enough? I got water over the bonnet. I saw that, it's like, holy Get rid of this one? Yeah, that one there. The problem we got here is this little hump. That little hump there is the problem. You just can't to, just hit it. No, you just have to crawl and then get on the gas yeah. as far as you can and winchy winchy. We're going to be winching all right. Oh well. Here I go. Hey, dusty bugger. <laughs> they got a fair way. Turn her out. Come on, baby, up you come. Double line pull slows everything down. Yeah, mate, looking good. Oh, that was good. That was gold. Try and dodge that big hole that Jay speared into. I'll go a little bit more to the left. Oh, the caravan's getting whooped. 
They're a lot shallower up that side, isn't it? Look at me, I didn't even get water over the bottom of my D-Max. Mind you, it could have done with a wash. Oh, it's got it. Come on, Simon. <laughs> D-Max. Maxie, you little beast, you. You absolute beast. <laughs> We're out of that creek bed, mate, but I tell you what, she's slow going up here too. Yeah, is it, see our, that big ridge line to our left? We've got to wrap around that. The trailer of yours is good, it's like a grater blade for me. Is it? And knock the edges off of that nicely. Very dry. I'm gonna have to go straight ahead because the trailer's gonna fall into the hole if I go to the left. Roger. That diff locks in. Hold the back on. He's up. Slow and steady wins the race is a motto Simon generally does not subscribe to. <laughs> Did you see that? No. Nah. Oh, the thing just launched. So I was just like, Wah! wheel lift in the air. He loves that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit gnarly. Yeah, gnarly, all right. And Simon does like lifting wheels. I've got a van, no, dude. Jack. Copy that. That's not what you want to see out in the bush. So there's a big gouge in the side of one of our tyres, but we do have lots of spares. So the quick rattle gun, get the wheel off, and um, we're back on the road again. Oh, that'll do it. Just to run over a stick with the sidewall, stick or a rock. They make their way out of the low country and can now see where they're headed. Yeah, that tree line in front of us is the lagoon. Doesn't look like lagoon country. Trust me, I've got a map. It's all shallow, the water's just rolling over. It's a natural crossing by the looks of it. Yes, lots of water, excellent. Park your car in the middle and you can fish off the car. Pretty much. And when they finally launch their tinny, they fall over themselves with excitement. Come to the studio, come now! Oh, 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 Imagine how many more um, barrow there would have been around when they decimated the crocodile population. Oh yeah. You think of how much. Oh, absolutely. How much crocodile would eat? Yep, heaps. <laughs> yep, got oh, him. Hey, Baza. Little barra. I know it's not very big, but it is a barra. Flies are friendly. Mm. Oh, this guy hooked on a stick. Mm. 
can see we guys having a crack at you. Yeah, yeah, there's a heap of them down there. Oh. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Little barra. Here's another little rat. Oh, little rat's gone. Little rat bear, that's a start. I'm telling you. Yep, another one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, little rat bear. I think this one's a bit bigger. Look at that. Thanks, man. He's nearly bigger. Oh, get you off. You can see how black they are on their backs. They're just pure freshwater barra. Haven't escaped out to the salt. So what they'll do is come the next wet and all this floods and all the water starts pushing out. Those little fellas there, they head out. They head out and then they just start growing and they change colour, nice and silver. Get to about 85, something like that. Wet comes, straight back up. Turn into a female, they go that bit bigger, they turn into a female and away they go, start the cycle. Where's the little hole with the bigger ones are at? Makes me want to go white water rafting now. Nice jet a little rapid. <laughs> and without fail, without goddamn fail, I catch up. Friggin' catfish. <laughs> Even though he's quite cute and quite small, he'll still give you a hurry up with his little spikes. And I'll be back in the boat crying. We didn't get onto the fish, which I was hoping we could. But when you're looking for adventure, the Northern Territory is the place. There's no doubt about it. How's the F truck? Mate, I'm impressed as hell with the F truck. I was I was a little bit skittish there because it's my brand new truck. Didn't want to take it off road, like it was purpose built to pull yeah, the barge around. But I mate, know, I know. We had to use it and wow. <laughs> See, in the wet season, you could never do that. So you got to do it in the dry season. Power. And sometimes it's luck of the draw. You can hit it and you clean up. Other times, yeah, you just get a couple of fish. Bottom line, we had a fantastic time. That's it. So really, really cool locations. That's what it's all about. That's what adventure is all about. And that's why we keep doing it. But anyway, guys, we cannot hang around at this gorgeous place forever. So we'll see you guys next time. Summer off the beaten track. <laughs>